All right, um, addressing board perspectives uh, with Stephen Mead. Um, I do a lot of sports analogies in case you hadn't noticed, and, I, and, and a lot of times I'll compare um, boards to sports teams and, and, and other things like that. And how does a board, I know you don't, you talk about not doing a board early, but even an advisory board, um, which, which then develops maybe into a board of directors, but how does a board create a winning culture? How did they create a camaraderie of, of trust where there's diversity, but it's mostly diversity of skill sets where they can work most effectively and contribute most effectively to management? Well, if, if we're going to use a sports analogy, then let's pick a team. We can pick any. We'll pick baseball just because it's a, a smaller number of players and defined. If your baseball team was made up of all pitchers, regardless of how great those pitchers are, you're going to fail. Right. You know, so I, I can use the sports analogy. I actually use the analogy a lot of times of building a house. To me, a company is like building a house. Mm -hmm. I, I know how to paint walls. I've put up, you know, pictures. I can do carpeting. I don't want to do that. I want to find the best person in the world to be the electrician. I want to find the best person I can to put the roof on. But over that, I need a general contractor because I'm not the one driving every day to make sure it's getting done. Right. You know, so so building a company is like building a house. You go, do I need marketing? Do I need sales? Do I need IT? Do I need finance? What are the pieces I need to make a successful company? And then how do I find the best people in those spots? And hopefully those people are better than I am in all those areas that I'm weak. And, and that's what I think a good leader has to be able to do is they have to hire people better than themselves in all the areas they're weak. And then how do you make sure because sometimes an all-star team isn't necessarily the best team you know it again it's and you've got great company ideas that aren't always successful so it, there, there's outside forces there's timing there's chemistry there's somebody that gets hurt you know right. what, what what your job is is to create my opinion if you're trying to build a big company you have to build a big enough company that people can feel like they're going to accomplish something great but that their input still matters in the outcome. You know, when you look at a sports team, you've got, you know, the baseball guys, you've got your nine starters, but you've got a pinch hitter, you've got a reliever, you've got some guys who are called in. You've got guys with very specific roles that may be a small part, but they're an integral part of the success, even if it's a small part of the day-to-day. -day. And you've got to make your entire team feel like that when you're trying to build a championship company. Great comments. Thanks so much. Thanks, Mark.